Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be another tea update and I am at six months on tea which just feels completely wild to say. I just felt like it would take forever to get here. So I have a few things to update you on but it actually feels like it isn't as much as last time and I'll explain why that is. So I'm just going to start this update with a few like tidbits and then I will get into the actual outward bodily changes that I've noticed I guess. So the first thing I want to say is that I had my blood test and my tea levels had dropped to like half of what they were before. They had been 5.93 and then when I had them checked again they were 2.88 which is like just above the female range. I don't know why they've dropped so much but yeah I ended up finally upping my dose and going on two pumps of testo gel instead of one. I went on the two pumps as of and I'm filming this on the 24th so there's not that much time that I've been on the two pumps. I do feel like most of the changes I've seen this month are probably due to me having upped my dose because I really felt like the changes were starting to like plateau a bit. I did want to like wait until I'd gotten the hair loss situation sorted before upping my dose because then like my hair would fall out twice as fast. I didn't really want to wait for that to happen because it takes like months to figure out if like the hair loss stuff is actually working and I really didn't want to wait that long especially with my tea levels being so low. Also I tried some topical minoxidil that my endo suggested and I absolutely hated it so I stopped using it. Also I really was worried about my cat coming into contact with that because it can be toxic to them and I really would not be able to live with myself if something happened and yeah he came in contact with it so I ditched that. I only tried it once and never again. So at the moment I'm actually kind of just letting it happen and seeing how much I can tolerate it and I guess if it's bothering me too much I might ask my endo about finasteride but she said that she's like pretty hesitant about prescribing it to trans mask people because of like how it can negate some of the effects of testosterone which like I understand where she's coming from but kind of wish she just gave me the option to still try it but yeah, I'll have another chat with her and see, but I'll also see how much I can tolerate first before I try that, I think. I was going to show you how my hair is looking, but I don't want to take off my hat because then I'll have to, like, re-fix all of my hair that's sticking out. So maybe I'll show you in another clip, but it might be a bit too embarrassing, I might not. But yeah, I do think the hair loss is a bit more noticeable now, like, I, I think it's gone back a little more and it's, like, really thin, kind of here at the um oh my god at the hairline <laughs> yeah um also I just gotta say like this hair is getting so long it's kind of going into like rat tail territory which isn't really my thing personally I really need to cut this hair but anyway I know that I said last time that I was thinking of like maybe stopping tea for a minute until I figured out what to do with my hair but I figured that like I would just be going back on tea again anyway so I may as well just stay on it so I did and I'm glad I did I think it would have really sucked if I had to stop taking it. Sorry if the angles or anything have changed I just had to switch over my memory card so things might look a little bit different but hopefully not too noticeable. Another little tidbit that I wanted to mention before I get more into like the physical outward changes kind of to do with my cycle because I talked to my endo about um, how it had kind of changed and she kind of said that like usually they'll keep like getting lighter and less painful and then eventually they'll like switch off so that's kind of like what I was expecting to continue happening but then my cycle came like I think about nine days early and it was like really painful and <laughs> heavy and it was like not like the month before by any means and it really sucked. I think that is probably to do with like the fact that my tea levels had dropped so much. That's just a guess, I don't actually know for sure. Yeah, but that was part of the thing that made me decide to finally just make a decision around all of this and just because I was like, I cannot deal with this every month, it absolutely sucks and the dysphoria was just absolutely terrible. So I'm kind of glad that I guess I had something to like drive me to finally decide on that. So that was kind of the, the final thing that made me decide to up my tea dose but I'm really glad that I did and now of course I wish that I'd done it sooner but 
whatever <laughs> we're here but now I will start talking about the outward changes so I'm gonna start this again by giving you a little moustache update like I always do it's basically tradition at this point I do think it's gotten a bit darker but I don't know maybe like at a slower rate than what it has in the past you can let me know what you think but I will show you how my moustache is looking I think it's a little darker but I don't know <laughs> What do you think? I think it's darker. I hope it is. Oh yeah, I thought I'd also show you how my sideburns are looking because it's usually like my moustache and my sideburns that have like the most noticeable progress each month. I still can't really see like my chin hair or my neck hair at this point on camera. It's probably gotten like a little more hairy but I don't, I don't really, I can't see it that well so I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you my sideburns so um I do think like here it's a lot more noticeable but then also like this hair has been growing and maybe that's why as well because I really need to reshave it. Um, oh my gosh look at this like ratty, I, I've got to do something with this hair, oh my god. Anyway, um, yeah I think you can really see around here. I don't know, what do you think? I think maybe it's a little little hairier there than last month but I don't know <laughs> sometimes I don't always realize until I actually see it on camera and compare it and I'm like oh that really that has actually changed I also think that my arms and hands are a little hairier or like the hair looks darker at least so I will try and show you if you can see me and I really notice it like on my wrist and like I guess this, all this part of my hand um, but also I think like one arm is a little hairier than the other and I don't know why that is because I always try to like balance out my tea gel like even when I was on one pump I'd try to like alternate which arm I put it on because I know sometimes like people do get one arm hairier than the other if they just like stick to one arm for their gel. I'll try and show you on this arm and you can tell me if you see any difference. I don't know. Yeah, it's not that easy to tell, I don't think, but I definitely think they've gotten darker. I still notice that, like, I'm starting to get more hairs growing on, like, the inside of my arm, but it's still, like, at the very beginning stages, but it is really cool, like, seeing that happen. And lastly, for body hair, I do think that my tummy hair has increased a bit more, especially again like the little happy trail. So that's cool, I'm pretty happy with that as always. And I'll show you a little clip of how that's looking. And then as for my voice, I know I said last time that I would get a voice pitch app and I still haven't done it yet. I don't even know why, I guess I've just been like really busy and distracted. Um, but I really do need to get that voice pitch app. And I think like now is the best time to do it because I think that my voice is starting to very slowly do something <laughs> because I have noticed that there's like a certain edge that's come into my voice a bit more. I don't know if I want to say it's like gravelly or if it's something else, but something is changing. I can definitely feel it when I speak that it really does feel different when I talk and I don't know if it's like noticeable to anyone else yet, but yeah, it is to me and I guess that's the most important thing. <laughs> Then I want to talk a bit about body temperature, so it's been a little bit better lately but I think that's because it's winter but even when my tea levels were quite low I was like really warm all the time, I was really really hot, it was really annoying and it's kind of like a superpower at this point, like I'm starting to feel like the werewolves in twilight, you know how they're like always hot, I'm starting to feel like that. <laughs> I will say that the sweating hasn't been as bad though but again I think that's because it's winter, it's annoying, I don't really like being warm all the time. Like, I guess it's convenient at the moment, but it's gonna get really annoying when spring comes, like, I just know it. <laughs> I will say that, like, the veins in my hands, they're definitely a lot more noticeable now than last time I talked about it. Like, I definitely noticed them um, protruding more often than they did. And I don't know, like, how well you can see it today. They're not, like, as bulgy as they are sometimes, but again, it's, like, on my wrist and my hand and stuff and... Yeah, I've got mixed feelings about it because the squish kind of grosses me out. As for my skin, um, I was, 
I was kind of expecting it to get more oily as I upped my tea dose, but that hasn't happened yet. Um, I don't think anything has really happened, especially on my face. So my face is still like, nothing's really changed with my skin, it's not oily or anything. I've only gotten like one spot on my face recently, which was up here, but the spots on my shoulders have really increased, which I kind of don't mind because when it's like somewhere that I can't see it and I don't really notice it I'm not like thinking about it so I kind of prefer that they're like on my shoulders rather than my face to be honest that's not to say that they're not uncomfortable because <laughs> they are but yeah I don't know so I may or may not show you how the spots on my shoulders are looking because I felt kind of weird about it last time I did it but I'll see how brave I'm feeling <laughs> I do think that they have increased so then lastly, I'm just going to talk about my hunger. So that has definitely increased. So I know usually when I talk about my hunger increasing, it's usually like that I feel more hungry than I usually would like around meal times. But it's also now become a thing where I'm just more hungry more often. So I have been eating more lately. I've incorporated more stuff into my diet, um, which is cool. I'm kind of just trying to keep up with like the mounting hunger and making sure that like I meet my body's needs around all of that. Yeah, it's an interesting learning process, I will say that. <laughs> so far it's it's all good, um, it's a bit to adjust to but it's fine. And other than that, I don't know, like that's kind of it. I feel like this update is like really short compared to all of my other ones and I think again that's partly because of feeling like my progress has stalled a bit so there's like less to update you on but I am really hoping now that I'm on two pumps that I will have slightly more noticeable changes over the next month. Yeah, especially because I haven't been on two pumps for this whole month. It's only been since the 15th, so it's not that long. But we'll see where things go from here. And I also just want to say like, thank you to everyone who's been hanging out with me during my transition and all of my updates and stuff. It's been really cool, like having a really openly queer space for us to all hang out in and chat. Hearing from everyone, no matter like what part of their transition that they're in, where even if like you're not trans but you're an ally, I just want to say that like I really appreciate you guys and I'm really happy to have you here with me for this and you really mean a lot to me and yeah, so thank you for hanging out with me for all of this. That's it. <laughs> so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.